tea in the morning. Monday, August the 8th, 8.53 a.m. Here we are continuing on with some campaign. We're in the Gleaming, Gleaming Cavern and round one. We're going to go over here. Maybe do a little half the knives there. And then we need to get one of these guys to the very center of the board. Right, I think that's going to be him. We'll see what happens. So all these guys kind of move in a little bit. Okay. We're going to get rid of that and that. There we go. So there's three different types of little minions. So all the ones that look like this share those cards. These are shared between these guys, right? And these cards are shared between those guys. So try to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and what are we in range of? We knock this guy back. Okay, then when he tries to come forward. He's not trying to come forward. All right. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. That. This. This. And, and that for now. These guys should start trying to move forward. There we go. Get path of knives on that guy. Let's get. Um, hmm. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, just got a, a message from the, the gal that I'm, I'm dating now. And uh, we're kind of both entrepreneurs. And she sent me a, a body painting that was uh, glow in the dark kind of thing that I thought was kind of cool. So I came back to her and I was like, well, maybe we could do this at nightclubs because we talked about doing kids' parties for face painting and what about uh, how about night glow in the dark night parties and we we're hired to go to events and do uh, face and body painting that could be kind of cool all right where are we at with this guy everybody's in range except for this one is that right I say we go for it <laughs> Go heal up over here. And now we can get every everybody but that guy again. All right, but with these guys we can get them all. Let's use this one first. Uh oh. All right, we messed that one up. We messed up. Shucks. This guy ain't moving forward, so that's it. We gonna die. Oh, I got one life. Oh, nifty. <laughs> Lucked out on that one. We'll take it. Like I said, I am just waking up, guys. Haven't even had a morning poo or anything. Nothing. Nothing. What's up, those? Okay, cool. Right, let's 
take this guy right here. It's got the most. Okay. Those guys. Got them. Cool. All right. And what else? Let's get them all. That ought to pretty much do it. Boop, boop. Alright, so we got one more. It'll see if Loot Fairy is still happening. Sell, sell, and of course we will sell that as well. Boop. Go ahead and put. Uh, let's put this right here, and then put this right here. Put that on that guy, and on that guy. Let's push him forward. Okay. Let's go ahead and push that guy out a little bit if we can. Oh, he just healed. Well, that must be nice. Okay. All right, we'll hold tight for a second. Yeah, we'll get them all with Firestorm right there. not going to risk it because he's got mail up here but normally I would just go for oh you know what we've got two force cones boop and boop and I'll take care of it nice oh uh, no more loot fairy darn all right well it was fun while it lasted so I'll probably end up doing a lot more quick match now. Okay, we'll sell all those and head out of there. Alright, let's go back to multiplayer. Let's go ahead and enter that for 50 gold. Hey, Sir Kickass, your league pod is ready for battle. Click the league button again to join for the queue for a game. Okay, sure. Let's see if there's anything in here that we need. Alright. Unnerving Strike is definitely uh, a good one to hold on to. Uh, we've got all those that we need. So nothing there, nothing there. Defensive Block, do we need any of those? You know what? We definitely want the, um, the Vengeance. Nice. What we need is some Obliterating... Oblitz. Hmm. Alright, we go there and we'll say that's it for all the things that we need. Come back here. Let's. I don't even remember what I have in my build. It's been so long since I played this one. Alright, so here I think we have a lot of getting rid of armor. And we're doubling up on the we're doubling up on the ability to have extra spirit cards, right? And then we've got some, some defense here, and we've also got a pretty good attack right there in Obliterating Spark. So, and I think we did that a couple times. I'm not sure about this one, so we're going to flip that one out before we go here. What do we got? And this is for, yep, this is for getting rid of block, block cards. We've got a lot of unnerving strike in there. And then movement, because dwarves don't move very fast, we've got some sprint team, some hacks, some blocks. I'll keep this guy from getting armor attached to or getting uh, attachments I'll kill him and then crushing is added are those crushing attacks yes so there's a, a chance to upgrade the um, crushing 
by three damage when I'm doing my unnerving attack, which goes through the discards the oldest block card. So, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's see how we go with this one. Like we said, we wanted to switch this guy out. So let's figure out which which of these weapons would be the most effective combo. Probably something with um, hmm. Yeah, that could be a good one. What are those ones? Those are interesting. Ooh, that's pretty tight. Two blurry sparks, mega You know what? Why don't we try that one? And say, well, what is mind leak? Whenever you take damage, you discard your oldest oldest magic card. Ooh, that's risky. I'm risk averse right now, so I'm just gonna go with. Uh, hmm. Do we want to go with punishing, or do we want to go with cold snap and laser? If you look down here, this eight range is pretty cool. Plus, if I got that in there, I do sixteen. Oh boy, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's uh. I like. You know what? We, we'll play around with this as we go, but we can come back to um, this one. Electro laser, maybe, next time. And if you want a lot of range, Sizzling Bolt gives you a range of 10, and you're doing 4 damage, potentially um, burning 2, so potentially 6 damage right off the bat. Well, 4 off the bat, and then 6 coming up, so... We'll consider all these. Let's go ahead and just jump in to a game of quick match. Let me get the lights on in here. Okay, cool. All right. Um, yeah, last night was cool. The date went really well. I um, we had some pizza. That was cool. And, uh, you know, what's unique about that is it was the first time, like, I was on a date. I'm not shelling out the money. Someone actually reciprocated. I had taken her out to steak dinners the first time, and she had brought um, pizza over the second time. So uh, I like that she reciprocates uh, financially, you know, intellectually. You know, she's pretty easy on the eyes, too, guys. I got to say, she's got a nice set of stems. Woo! Okay. So moving on. I am, what do I got to get done today? I got to work on portraits. I got to set up an event bright for Ninth and State to do an event with her. And then I've also got to get work done. I was supposed to be making work to have a show with her. And then my buddy Fernando was going to join. Haven't heard boo from him. He got COVID. So I don't, like his mind is not even probably in a place about making art or showing artwork. But hopefully he can get well in the next couple of weeks we can get him tuned in and we can get this show put together for September we've got three weeks to put this together so uh, a lot going on in my life plus I gotta be driving some uber I gotta like I had a goal to make $250 a day I've only hit that uh, once in a week so <laughs> not not getting it done man and uh, part of it was probably playing this game uh, loot fairy thing came out and I got distracted and let myself get distracted so um, we're gonna have to get back on the horse and go for it here pretty soon let's go over here watch uh let's get our dude if we're gonna take let's go this way then ow dude how are you even able to do that all right hopefully we can get in on that guy and kill him pretty fast let's keep working our way up with these dwarves um, nothing we can do at this point. That's it. All right. So let's get rid of magma spray, force cannon. All right. Now let's see if we can. Oh, so really? Come on, man. That's just bullcrap. I can tell you we're gonna lose, guys. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that one. Because here's what's gonna happen. This guy's going to take 8 damage because he can't move. I can't even hit that guy because he's invisible now. So that seems unreal. And then... These guys aren't even going to be able to... Alright, we shouldn't quit things. We'll just keep going. Let's go around this way. Bam. Put that there. 
I'll go this way. So they're all probably gonna kill that dude pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, that dude's dead. Yeah, this is a waste of time. Sorry, let's switch it out and start all over again. I hope the devs make the loot fairy event happen once a month. That would be super cool. Do you guys agree? <laughs> Welcome to the Huberman Lab Podcast, where we discuss science and science based. Hey guys, I'm Angela Montilla, and in this. Okay, cool. We'll check that out in a second. I'm Andrew Hugh. Sorry, what you guys are hearing are some prompts for YouTube. I'm going to go check out. Uh, one's on getting good sleep and things you can do to get better sleep. Uh, the other one is on designing animations for YouTube, which, you know, I'm doing YouTube. It'd be cool to have little uh, Loop Fairy animations that I can make that would make the game more interesting. Um, or like wizard animations or just things in general. I'm interested in learning all things graphic design. Um, InDesign, Photoshop, Adobe um, Premiere, uh, Adobe After Effects, that kind of thing. So those are five skills that I'm trying to skill stack and learn how to do. Because um, they don't tell you, like when you make a YouTube channel, you can have a ho-hum channel, which is what mine is right now. And I recognize that, guys. Thanks for hanging in with me as I grow and learn. Um, so you make your first 100 videos. And then there's different trains of thought. But most people think you make 100 videos, that gets you in the in an in a habit of making videos which is working uh, and then some other people say well you at, after you made your first 30 videos then you start learning how to make them better which I'm already learning how to add um, cards and playlist and pin comments and all kinds of other stuff I'm learning along the way that I didn't know before I started this journey uh, two weeks ago so that's cool and then so the next step is to start making like uh, more engaging um, videos more engaging like things that you guys would show up and go man that's cool I didn't know how to do that that's a that's a cool battle group or that's you know that was in the forums and now you're actually using that group and that's how successful it is right now with these maps um, so the channel is gonna grow but uh, ultimately I'm trying to get good at this on this channel doing the card hunter so that I can transfer it over to my business the tipsy red fox um, and start learning how to do a YouTube channel about my painting parties and then I want to sell kits online for paint like in online courses so this is all just me kind of leveling up my game and understanding you know it's fun to play card hunter but also at some point there's got to be a way to either financially like I've, I've got to be for me the way I'm wired I've got to get something out of it other than just you know the the gameplay I've got my time is I'm 45 so I've got a limited amount of time to put a retirement together you know so that's that's where I'm at I'm trying to just I've already invested you know three thousand something dollars in the game so I'm in too deep for me to just quit the game right if you had a three thousand dollar chess set you try to get that thing out every once in a while and play some people right um, so I dig the game. I love it. I've been playing since May of 2017, so five years. Some people have been playing a lot longer. I have almost the whole collection of the game, which is something I've been working at uh, pretty much since I started. I knew that I wanted to be a collector. Um, and I like that once that is done, I have every option available so I can build any deck and show people um, on my YouTube channel what it would look like so they can make suggestions and be like hey man can you can you they'll give me a list and I'll be like yeah I'll build that and I build it and then I do a couple I'll do like five games with it and they can decide what the weaknesses are what the strengths are
So, Asta, Astana Pan says once a month may be too often, but it may be nice to make it semi regular for a few times a year. I guess I'm saying I think that people would grow in the game and stick around a lot longer if they knew they were once a month an event that those newcomers could get into where they could really expand their their items and by expanding their items as you know it makes it more competitive so they can start feeling like they're not just getting demolished by the upper level veterans which is why our turnover is so so high and we don't have as many people sticking on to continue playing the game the bottom line is if you don't make people feel welcome here at all ages and from different walks of life we won't grow and this game will eventually fizzle up and die gonna just keep getting a card hunter maybe we can avoid having the um, the lava all the time that'd be cool all right so okay um, I think that's all I can do right now nothing is visible except for that guy can stop back man Woo. I don't know why this is so difficult we're on Cardatron 3000. I'm ranked 989. It's ranked 960, but this seems harder than some of the other Cardatrons I've played before. All right. Maybe it's just this build. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do. What's going to be like? Hmm. Tell you what. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to move back. And then I'm going to hit spikes. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put a little curse on you so it hits you harder. And I'm going to... Wait a minute. Adapt it to electrical. Man, auto block is really an effective <laughs> tool for um, Cardatron today. Alright, let's see if we can move in behind him. Attack him with something here. Let's hit him with um, Unnerving Strike. Okay, let's hit him with laser. Okay, he's down to four. And then that's all I can do. So in this case, I'm going to keep both medium garbs. And this is cool because you're going to see I'm going to get two cards. Really the same card? Come on, man. Um, but you got two, I got two spirit cards because I have two medium garbs. So I get two extra cards around right now. Um, this is tough. I didn't get anything that... Can really use so let's hit that guy got a laser block that must be nice let's hit him with that let's uh wow okay the warrior the wizard the wizard is turn us up from afar here but now we have this guy makes it through the round we have three medium garb so we're gonna get um, three three extra cards next round that we wouldn't normally get so let's get rid of duck let's get rid of that give that guy some more life back and let's get rid of dash because we're not going anywhere all right cool so this time we got this guy so we'll put him on First of all, let's get rid of let's get rid of his armor. Okay. Next thing we do, let's put a holy curse on him. That didn't work too bad. Um, let's hit him with strike anyway. Okay. So he took some damage. Let's hit this one with that. Let's go ahead and. Let's move into here so he can't jump over there. Oh, we're going to take 8 damage apiece. That's going to suck. 
Alright, um, can I move away, away from that? Let's go, go over here. We'll change our mind. We don't want to take A damage right there. Oh, but he had hover. You moron. You should have stayed there. <laughs> uh, attach this card to yourself. You are not affected by terrain attachments other than blocking terrain. So I should have stayed there. Damn it. That was stupid. That's okay. We're going to move away from this dude. But we're going to move this way. Still going to take four damage, though, I think. Or depending on medium garb, how much damage we take. We'll see. Let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that, and that, and then this, and that. Okay. Only have two life left on this one. Probably the best move is going to be... Of course they want you to spend cash dollars. But they know that if you get enough of people playing for free, the numbers alone, some people will want to invest more to grow faster. A lot of people don't want to do the work of grinding to get all the equipment. Myself included. I'm still grinding now, but that's because I've invested money that I don't want to quit the game. In other words, I have skin in the game, and I want to continue playing. But there's some people, like in other countries, that just don't have American dollars to spend, and they have the ability to just grind it out and work their way through. And that's cool, too. Put that there. We got any armor here? Let's make sure we get rid of that. Alright. Um, okay. Let's, um. Huh. I think what we're gonna have to do. that there and then that guy's gonna die anyway probably next round so I might as well go ahead and just get the uh, the victory square they're both gonna die right so then the other question is okay let's let's get rid of that oh get rid of this that 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 <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go. What? How come teleport itself doesn't work with cooling on it? Whenever you play a move card, that move gains te teleport. Well, that's a bummer. It means that there's no way I'm gonna be able to get back. Okay. I'll go ahead and hit that dude with that. And then I'll go ahead and go here. And now, hopefully, I'll get a shot at killing that dude before he kills me. Got him. Whew, that was a rough Cardatron for that low of a level. Or I've got a really weak build on the two. Alright, so um, we're good there. I think we'll keep that one have an extra. Might as well keep that one have an extra. Sure, why not? I've got plenty of those, but just for penetrative lung and crafting, we'll do that before we go. We'll sell the uh, that. There we go. All right, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, you guys have an amazing day, and um, always let me know if you listen to what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments um, any interesting 
dialogue that you guys would like to have about life in general. And then, of course, and always, I love to hear about game strategy and builds you guys would like to see uh, made. So if you send me a, um, a list, if you put a list that you want to see built, I'll go ahead and plug those in and put them in a battle group. And I'll use your name and everything and give you credit. And then I'll go play that list a, a few times. And I'll send you the, the link and you can critique it. And then we'll make it better with the ideas that you have. Cool beans. Take care and be well, guys.